Macs are actually quite popular uh, in IBM. Uh, but of course, we are a very large company, and therefore think bands dominate, right? But my estimate would be that we may have uh, at least a few thousand Macs within IBM. And many of us um, who deal with the Web2.0 community and others love uh, the fact that we can get all of the programming and productivity on Mac and uh, in addition of course having a Mac doesn't hurt talking to Ruby on Rails community and everything else, right? It used to be a great topic of conversation six months back. Now there are probably two that come out uh, among ten or fifteen execs who get together. So it's it's and, and a few years later it will not be a topic of conversation at all. IBM has got the software division and there are many parts of software division and information management is one of its bigger parts in software division. I am the CTO across information management and therefore I am responsible for the technology in databases, what I talked about DB2, uh, content management, integration, all the mess, how does that mess come together and now business intelligence, we just acquired a company called Cognos. So I am the CTO across all of those technologies. IBM's approach to search is twofold. First, we understand that enterprise search is not the same as external search. Like Google. So enterprise search isn't as simple as external search. So we in IBM are in enterprise search market. But the second thing that we believe very strongly in is that search is going to become a capability that every piece of product and solutions has. So whereas enterprise search is a horizontal technology, today nobody thinks of building an application without a database. So database has become a cost of building an application. A capability that is needed to build the application People who are using the application do not think of the database. So tomorrow the same thing will happen in search. Search will just, whether you're doing call center application, whether you're doing business optimization application, whether you're doing a, a, a workforce optimization application, all of them will have search in them as opposed to horizontal enterprise. So our belief is that enterprise search is important. We are in that market. But we also believe that search is an ingredient technology of every application that we get. IBM OmniFind Yahoo Edition. Completely free to use and free to deploy. A little bit like DB2 Express? A little, little bit like DB2 Express. Same model? Same, absolutely same. A lot of the growth of MySQL is coming from projects that grew in the open. So while you get a lot of interesting anecdotes and factoids about MySQL in the enterprise, the bulk of the downloads, the bulk of the revenue is not coming from the enterprise. The second thing is, and it's very simple, the second thing in this is that Database is one of data and databases one of the most precious commodities that an enterprise has. Our business, but our customers are very tough on us. They are very tough on us. So for them, going to something which is in theory free is not something that they care about because around the database is the bet their business. And for anything that is bet your business, the cost, the money that it takes, right, to run the database, okay, is hardly relevant. Finally, in databases, it turns out that the price of acquiring software is a very, very small fraction of the cost of running. You see the mess? You see what the database administrators have to do? 
it is that the total cost of ownership which is the issue okay so so yes yeah, sure you will hear interesting factoids but but for the clients that we deal with okay they want to go with the the db2s the oracles and in some cases the microsoft i think that the only thing that really works as a service is large classes of applications or to a degree outsourcing of business process you want to do claims origination here is some vendor who can do claims processing for you you want to acquire a company here is a vendor who can take documents from that company and this company and do it for you so that happens sometimes applications happen like salesforce.com but never database or anything else no there's no there's no uh, person in the cloud for some application and something to move in the cloud the data has to move out from the enterprise into the cloud and it's not clear it's not clear that whatever little benefit there might be of this thing running in the cloud that that enterprises want to take their most precious commodity and move it out now now that said it's entirely possible in fact we believe it's the case that the kinds of capabilities of being able to flexibly grow right your applications or your database are very much the kinds of capabilities that our clients want inside the enterprise okay but that's not the same thing as software as service or business process as service delivered in the cloud if two databases come together what benefit does the client get out of it right our clients are not asking for databases to come together our clients use informix in certain style our clients use db2 in certain style in fact we have got two codes code bases of db2 we got db2 mainframe and we got db2 on, on distributed and they are used in different places in different environments etc et so our clients are not asking for they don't get any benefit out of out of this what we do though is we want to make sure that we get certain efficiencies engineering wise and where is the biggest cost of our clients in managing the data so what we want to do is we want to make sure that the tools and administration and others that happens across these databases happens in similar ways making the code one is not something that our clients want. so when you, you'll see us talk about something called data studio and it's very much about a common tooling and administration across ibm and non ibm database because we are talking about the real cost that the clients have not this cost where bringing these things together may result in some engineering savings but doesn't necessarily add value to our clients in enterprises that are it savvy such as ibm absolutely right max showed you 15 20 applications ibm has a large cio organization ibm internally rolls out applications right and few of those applications are on ruby on rails right but a lot of our clients are not full of technologists right for them the technology is a cost of doing business right we find a lot of small projects on ruby on rails but i haven't seen yet outside ibm i haven't seen doesn't mean it doesn't exist but i haven't seen yet outside ibm enterprise class application built on ruby on rails and what i was trying to say is that there is no reason why we can't get there but there are many issues of skills organization legacy data right etc etc